Well, Alabama Senator Katie Britt will deliver tonight's Republican response. Elected just two years ago at 42, Britt is the youngest Republican woman ever elected to the Senate. News Asia's Joe Khalil live for us on Capitol Hill. Joe, there is certainly a lot at stake tonight, not just for the president, but also for this freshman senator. Yeah, and this is going to be the first time she has this national uh, profile here, and she's going to have the stage. Very important for her. This is not an easy thing to do. This rebuttal oftentimes gets remembered for gaffes or awkward moments, not the things you want them to be remembered for. Some of the good ones are sort of forgotten. So the stakes are high, but Katie Britt, no doubt, is a rising star in the Republican Party. As you mentioned, she's 42 years old. She's young. She's charismatic. So automatically, there is going to be that conversation contrast from President Joe Biden, who is getting questions about his age, and then you've got this sort of young uh, upstart senator on the other side there. Uh, she's also got a really cool personal story. She actually was an intern not so long ago in the very office that she now runs as a U.S. senator from Alabama. So you mentioned 42 years old. She's the uh, third youngest senator right now. She's the youngest Republican woman ever elected. She's also a mom who's got two school-age kids and a wife. So that in itself, in her persona, is something that's important, I think, for Republicans, because we know President Biden is going to be talking about the abortion issue, the IVF issue, and uh, painting Democrats now as the party that is pro-family. And just by her persona, it does sort of counter that, at least according to people who we've spoken with around Katie Britt. They think that's going to be the case. She's also got a reputation not as someone who is a bomb thrower. She's not making bombastic statements when she does interviews or throwing out crazy tweets or anything like that. She's known more here as a workhorse early on in her Senate career than a show horse. So that's something that we've heard from other people. She also has a reputation for making friends, not just with Republicans, but with Democrats across the aisle as well. And politically, she tends to align more with that more traditional Mitch McConnell wing of the party, not so much the MAGA wing of the party. So, you know, that in itself, she supports Ukraine funding, for example. If President Biden is going to be hitting Republicans in his speech for that issue, uh, there's something that she can actually actually counter because she uh, supports the other side of that as well. Now, when she was chosen, Nicole, there was obviously automatic speculation among a lot of conservatives, a lot of Republicans, that she may be on the VP shortlist for Donald Trump. She's not commenting on that. Her office isn't saying anything really about that. Uh, we've just been told it's sort of background noise for them. Still, it is something that you have to wonder about because she has this platform tonight. Uh, and so some are, are looking at this as a, an audition of sorts, uh, if you will. But at least, you know, for, from her people, uh, they're saying they're just focused on delivering a speech tonight. All right, Joe Khalil live for us there on Capitol Hill. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.